A nerve impulse is an electrical current that travels along dendrites or axons due to ions moving through voltage-gated channels in the neuron's plasma membrane. Voltage-gated channels open and close in response to an electrical voltage, so they are affected by changes in electrical charge around them. When a neuron is at rest, a charge difference is maintained between the inside and outside of the cell. This charge difference is produced and maintained largely by active transport using sodium-potassium pumps. The pumps send sodium ions out of the cell and bring potassium ions in. While other channels allow some flow of potassium ions back out of the cell, the sodium ions cannot easily get back in to replace the lost positive charges. The overall result is that the exterior of the cell has a net positive charge and the interior has a net negative charge. The difference in charge between the interior and exterior of the cell is called the resting membrane potential. A nerve impulse begins when a stimulus disturbs the plasma membrane on a dendrite, causing sodium channels to open. Sodium ions flow into the cell, lessening the charge difference at that location. If the change is enough, it will cause nearby voltage-gated sodium channels to open. This allows so many sodium ions to flood into the cell at that location that the membrane there is depolarized with the local region inside the cell having a net positive charge and the outside of the cell having a net negative charge. This affects neighboring voltage-gated sodium channels, which then open, moving the depolarization along the membrane. This moving depolarization is called an action potential. Changes occur behind the action potential to restore the resting membrane potential. The voltage-gated sodium channels close and voltage-gated potassium channels open. This allows a rapid flow of potassium ions out of the cell, repolarizing the membrane so that the inside is again negative and the outside positive. This is followed by use of sodium-potassium pumps to fully restore the resting membrane potential and to re-establish proper concentrations of sodium and potassium ions inside and outside the cell.